A multiple launch rocket system, or MLRS in short, is a very effective and potent weapon system, specifically engineered to deliver a concentrated and lethal bombardment of rockets towards a designated target or target region. The fact that these systems can move quickly, fire powerfully, and be set up quickly is a big step forward in ground combat. The system has a launcher that is mounted on top of a mobile platform that is usually a tracked or wheeled vehicle so that it can be moved quickly. When compared to traditional weapons, MLRS are better because they have a longer effective range, a faster fire rate, can move themselves, have less recoil, can carry more, and are accurate. Many mobile location systems can use satellite tracking to find the exact location of a target. At number 1, the M270. The US variant of the M270 is based on the chassis of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle. The first M270s were delivered in 1983 and were adopted by several NATO and non-NATO militaries. The platform first saw service with the United States in 1991 Gulf War. It has received multiple improvements since its inception, including the ability to fire guided missiles. M270s provided by the United Kingdom have seen use in the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine. It consists of 12 launch tubes, each firing two 27mm rockets. The M270 has night vision and all-weather capabilities and can fire rockets both stationary and on the move. It can be transported in C-130 Super Hercules for faster mobility and forward support. Number 2. The M142 HIM ARS The HIMARS is similar in design to the M270 multiple launch rocket system, with the main exception being that it is a wheeled vehicle as opposed to a track vehicle. The HIMARS can carry the same type of pods as the M270, but carries one pod while the M270 carries two pods. It supports all-weather network operations and has real-time situational awareness and battlefield information sharing. It has data linking to an F-35 Lightning to attack positions showing its multi-platform operability dominance. At number 3, the TOS-1. The TOS-1 is mounted on a T-72 tank chassis and is a very deadly system primarily used by Russia. This entry is a bit unique in this list because it is a heavy-firing short-range system capable of firing both incendiary rockets and thermobaric warheads. Although its operational range may be the shortest in this list, its rapid-firing destructive qualities have proved itself a very deadly system. Been in service since 1988, with a lot of upgrades, the TOS-1 has a stellar record in the Soviet-Afghan War, Soviet-Iraq War, Syrian Civil War and in the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian War. Although with confirmed evidence, Russia has been majorly criticized due to their alleged use of thermobaric weapons on Ukrainian civilians in the ongoing war. At number 4, the BM-30 Smirch. The BM-30 Smirch is a Russian heavy self-propelled 300mm MLRS designed to destroy ammunition depots, command centers, artillery batteries, and area-wide armored soft targets using 12 solid fuel rounds. Unlike the previous entries, Smirch is a rocket system that significantly improves the potential damage capabilities. It can tolerate extreme weather and has night vision capabilities. Its autonomous capability aids in independent navigation and enables the vehicle to rapidly shift firing positions. It is also fitted with the Soviet UAV deployment system, which has a range of 90 km. Precision-guided missiles and rockets fired from a smirch have inertial navigation capability and can also use Russia's GPS-equivalent satellite navigation system. The BM-30 saw substantial combat deployment during the Second Chechen War, Donbass War, Syrian Civil War, and the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian conflict. At number 5, the Pinaka. The Pinaka, created by India, is a 12-barrel rocket launcher system that weighs a little more than the primary vehicle since it includes three replenishment vehicles, 
to command post vehicles, a fire control system integrated computer, and improved radar. The system has a maximum range of 40 km for Mark 1 and 60 km for the Mark 1 upgraded variant, and it can fire a salvo of 12 high explosive rockets in 44 seconds. To ensure mobility, the system is installed on a Tatra truck. Pinaka saw action in the Kargil War, where it was successful at neutralizing Pakistani positions on mountain peaks. It has since been drafted into the Indian Army in significant numbers. Number 6. The PHL-03 The PHL-03 is a truck-mounted self-propelled 12-tube 300mm long-range multiple rocket launcher of the People's Republic of China. The design is based on the Soviet-made BM-30 Smurge rocket artillery system. The main role for this multiple rocket launcher is to engage strategic targets, such as large concentrations of troops, airfields, command centers, air defense batteries, and support facilities. It is also used to engage in counter-battery fire missions. The PHL-03 has the same configurations as the original Soviet counterpart with the 12 launch tubes for 300mm artillery rockets, along with a computerized fire control system incorporating GPS. Number 7. The Astros-2 Astros-2 is a self-propelled multiple rocket launcher produced in Brazil by the Avibras company. It features modular design and employs rockets with calibers ranging from 127 to 450 mm. It was developed based on a Tectron 6x6 all-terrain vehicle. The vehicle is operated from under armor protection. Six smoke grenade launchers are fitted on the roof ring mount. The presence of an NBC system is likely. The ability to shoot and move away quickly reduces the risk of counter-battery fire. Most of the Astros 2 systems were exported, mainly to the Middle East. The Astros 2 was extensively used during the Iran-Iraq War and by Iraq and Saudi Arabia during the 1991 Gulf War. At number 8, the BM-27 Eurogun. The BM-27 is a 220mm rocket system developed by the Russia in the early 1970s. The system can be easily transported by railway or aircraft and can also engage any forms of group target, including soft-skinned and armored vehicles, as well as military and industrial defense structures. The device can also be utilized if the enemy uses a nuclear, chemical, or biological weapon at any time of day or night, in a variety of climatic conditions. The BM-27 can be ready to fire in less than 3 minutes and leave their firing position in 90 seconds after launching the rockets. The system has a total of 16 launch tubes, which are placed in three rows, with four tubes in the upper row and six tubes in the below two rows. And we're signing off for today. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Stick around, guys, for more interesting videos upcoming from the buzz. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.